Hi guys, my name is Tina and I'm currently traveling around the world. You show up at my door with some coffee and croissants. Went to my favorite store because you could tell it's what I want. I can't imagine more. It's been a dream and far beyond. Well, so then what am I so nervous for? I'm now in Santiago at the airport. The airline notified me maybe three days ago that they changed the flight. It was supposed to be going at midnight and I was supposed to arrive tomorrow. And I'm so, so, so happy that I could change my flight back. I sent a request to JetSmart and they didn't reply. I asked again here at the airport and it took them a while to find a seat. But luckily, because also I injured my this part here of my neck, so I'm not feeling that well. I managed to get a little lounge and this is maybe the best one I've ever been in. It's really nice. Regarding the fact that this was not supposed to be my flight today, I was very happy with it. I got good seat. I got my Uber. This is one reason why I wanted to change my flight because they booked my flight to a different airport and the other airport is like a lot further away. Hey guys, I'm heading to lunch right now and my Airbnb is pretty close to the harbor. I was traveling with the intention of like also working at the same time. In the last maybe couple of weeks I noticed that it shifts more and more towards work. Which also means that you're going to see maybe different things on my channel. But like that's part of the journey. That's what I want to share with you as well. I decided to try hard to find more healthy meal options. Just because while traveling it's just really difficult to have a routine that goes for sleeping, eating and uh, literally everything. Almost as if someone's writing a screenplay to my life, dressing it up for fun. All of the main character vibes, days all covered in sun. And I am glowing from inside, I really can't believe that's what you've done. Cause when it's good, just really good, then it should be too good. It's a little bit rainy today. Weather forecast was saying something about a thunderstorm, so I'm glad it's not a thunderstorm. And we are starting that here on Plaza de Mayo, the main square. In March, there was the revolution against the Spaniards. And that's probably why it's called Mayo March. So and behind me, you can see Casa Rosada, which is the presidential office. So, and then somewhere in this direction, I can't pinpoint exactly the building, there's the cathedral. I was told that many things in Buenos Aires are walkable, which I think is true. But now, today, after a long, long time, I think I'm going to take the train. Now I'm hunting down carts again. I went to the metro station, they didn't have carts. I went to the next kiosk because I heard they sell carts. Do you have a metro cart? No. bad. In Maybe here, I don't know. <laughs> so guys, yeah, I got my cart. I went to the next metro station and here they had some cards. You show up at my door with some coffee and croissants. Went to my favorite store because you could tell it's what I want. I can't imagine more. So hey guys, I found the right station, which is Plaza Italia, and we're close to our first destination. And we are currently in Palermo, which is like the biggest neighborhood slash area in Buenos Aires. I just arrived at this park here, which is probably called Echo Park de Buenos Aires, but I'm not sure it's so huge. I can't really pinpoint the name of the whole thing. Okay, there's some kind of event going on. 
Yeah, no, it's a wedding. <laughs> There's a wedding. <laughs> So I was just trying a new technique to like not look into the screen the whole time by just simply not using it and not flipping it around. But then also I cannot see the light and it's really harsh light here at the moment. But anyway, this place is gorgeous. It's really, really nice. Look at what I found. Oh my gosh. I saw the others here behind the fence or whatever that is. And then look at this mama with her babies. I was worried that there wouldn't be any roses blooming. I was checking when's the best time to visit, but... So, the weather today isn't the best, but I knew that it was saying even thunderstorm, so I'm really happy that there's not... It's a little bit of thunderstorm. Little fun fact about this rose garden is that they planted over 18,000 roses here. It's raining still. Like I told you in the video, it was raining just a little bit and I thought everything's fine, we got this. It was raining, it was raining so hard that I couldn't really walk back to the station. So I was standing there somewhere under a roof. I couldn't call an Uber because there was an issue with either Uber slash my credit card, both, I don't know. I got told that it might be that they don't like foreign currencies, whatever, foreign credit cards and that it was declined because of that. But I have a nice view here. So hey, after experiencing a little bit of rain yesterday, we're back on track. Today I'm going to get breakfast slash lunch first. I love the street art everywhere here, it reminds me of Mexico City. A very important fun fact about Buenos Aires is they got several different rates. When you're trying to find out the rate on Google, it shows you something completely different than when you're actually buying something here. So you have to be careful. I cannot really, it's very confusing. But I wanted to mention it, make sure to be aware of the fact that. I got an avocado salmon toast and a regular coffee. That was a very good start in the day. Enjoyed the food a lot. The toast was really good. The place I'm going to right now was all over Instagram, so I found them there. It's like a themed cafe, but it's actually a bar. It's an ice cream bar, which kind of sounds wrong, right? This place is amazing. The ice cream is extremely good. And they have flavors like different alcohol flavors, pina colada and uh, what was it? Something with lemon. They got other, a little bit more crazy flavors here, like for example, Heineken. Heineken is like a beer, right? A beer brand. This was probably by far the coolest ice cream place I've ever been to. Like I thought that the flavor's not too strong, but in the end it was like <laughs> drinking a pina colada. <laughs> I'm now standing in front of Mercado de la Pulcas, which is a flea market slash antique market. And I read about two here in Buenos Aires, this one and the one in San Telmo. Oh my God, guys, I love this place so much. It's so cool. Out of 10, I will highly recommend this place. The only thing is, it's a little bit further away. You have to take a train or a bus or something to get here. Let me know if you think I need new sunglasses or... So this place is cool, right? They have two locations here and I was originally planning on going to the other location and I just stumbled up in this place by accident. You can also just come in and look, I guess. And they have like on the first floor, it's like like comics and Star Wars and all kinds of stuff. And on the second, they have like all the anime and manga stuff. Very nice place, can highly recommend. Also just for working, they have very good Wi-Fi. At 
first I thought, well, because I left Japan, there is no way for me to make any Japan-related content anymore, right? But then I noticed in literally every city I went to, there is some kind of relation. Like, I thought many of you guys followed me because of my Japan content. So, And I also I find it very interesting to see the influence that Japan has on every other country especially here in South America it's big let me know let me know in the comments if you like this kind of I don't know like I, I'm, I'm really interested in seeing all these places that kind of remind me of Japan so the water that I just had in this cafe was for free the cake itself was only about like 253 euro guys I just took the subway to another district here in Buenos Aires to show you Another, let me call it hidden jam. It's not that hidden, it's not that small. I'm standing in front of a bookstore, you can't really see it. It's huge. It was originally a theater, which is why it's kind of really beautiful and why I came here. If though it's not really like, you know, I can't read the books here anyway. Maybe they have English books, I don't know. would definitely recommend this place even if you cannot buy books like me it just looks pretty awesome buenos dias today we will try to take the bus not this one you got a lot of buses here but this map tells you where your bus is that you want to use. Dropped off at the right bus stop, but it's raining again today. I checked the weather forecast, so it should stop in one or two hours. Today I've come to an area that is called La Boca. Specifically, this area is called Caminito and you got a bunch of very beautiful, colorful houses here. The situation isn't ideal because they don't have seats inside, but I wanted to try this, which is something that you should eat when you come here. And I also got this because I think this is a very famous shop here. They are mainly selling rather like souvenirs that you can get for takeaway. It's like a chocolate cookie. <laughs> Let's try the other one. Okay, so the second one is more like a very soft cookie with like a caramel cream, something inside. The first one wasn't so exciting. This one, this one's better. I have the impression that in general this area is very touristy. If it wasn't for the rain, would probably be already crowded. This is not really lunch, this is more like a break. It's still cold outside, I think the rain stopped, but it's still cold. So I got two empanadas here at this place. I got a one with beef and with ham and cheese. It's very salty. I would always recommend to go with beef. Like I've been eating a couple of them. Beef is my favorite so far. Caminito means actually little walkway and you also you can visit those houses for free. So guys, I moved on. I took the same bus back to a station close to San Telmo. San Telmo is the smallest and oldest neighborhood here in Buenos Aires. Fingers Good crossed. Morning. Okay. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Less touristy. I mean, hey, it's still very crowded here, but it has not this like touristy feeling to it. Ignore 
what I said. <laughs> Ignore what I said earlier. This place is extremely touristy. It's so overcrowded. Probably also because it's a weekend, but... I was trying to go to a different restaurant, but they had no tables inside. I might have just ordered the best salad I've ever had in my entire life, but we'll see. I really like that there are fruits in the salad. I've done that myself when I was making salads myself. Um, I have been staying a lot of the time, <clears throat> the first two days or so, here at the Airbnb, working on my computer. I try to build my own business, right? I think I'm still in this phase where I'm trying to figure out what kind of business this is going to be. I'm building, for example, also I'm building a website. I, I have a website. I shared this on Instagram and this is more of a passion project and it would be just so nice in the future at some point if, if I finished with my homepage to put my drawings and my artwork up there. You show up at my door with some coffee and croissants went to my favorite store because you could tell it's what I want. It was incredibly tempting not to get one of the cakes here, but I don't regret my decision. Got a very good lunch. So nervous for, cause when it's good, just really good, then it should be too good. I know that there must be a catch, just waiting around for Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow me on this journey around the world, either for one year or as long as my money lasts, or, you know, in case I get robbed. Then that's the end.